Cynthia Willis, my friends call me Cindy. I'm from Bridgeton High School, the Bridgeton Bulldogs. And I think the most important thing is just empowerment. Um, I know as a young female athlete, uh, my role models were few and far between, but there were there were females that really impacted my life in a, uh, in, a, in a really big way and let me know that I could do anything. Um, so uh, I think that empowerment is the most important part of this, uh, this female group is that we want to inspire and empower um, and we want them to dream big and that as long as you're qualified, as long as you have uh, personal skills, as long as you go after that degree and you're hungry, you can do anything you want, male or female. Um, but we're trying to make sure that we have as many females. I hope this circle grows even bigger uh, as the years go on. I'm Karen Cavallari, Cedar Creek High School. I absolutely agree with everything she said. I just I think it's so important for young women, whether they be athletes or just students in your building, to see women in roles. Not just leadership, but in the typical male-dominated professions. I still feel like it's important for all of our students to see. And I, I think it, whether you have those conversations or not, hopefully you're able to, but it, it definitely shows them and gives them that push to do things themselves that they think they might not be able to achieve. Hi, I'm Cheryl Smith um, from Overbrook High School, and um, I think all those things are great for the girls in power, but I also think it's important for the boys to see females in leadership roles because someday they're going to have a female boss, possibly, yeah. and just learning to see women in a position where they're in charge and making decisions. I think that's a great asset for them as well. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay, and Marty Henry Parks from Hamilton High School, home of Blue Devils, not the Blue Devils. Uh, not only is it important for each of us standing here, but the connection that we've made and being able to talk to each other. We've formed a bond, and there are unique experiences that we get to share together. And the guys, this boys network, has really accepted us because we're prepared, we're qualified. We care, and we bring a whole different component that they might not have been aware of yet. Uh, the compassion, the different sense of nurturing, not something they're not nurturing, but it's a whole different side to it. Uh, and then the kids can respect us in a different way. And so not only leadership, but just that women really, they can do it. It's not just you have to be a, a football coach because you're a guy. Anything is possible. Hi, uh, Julia Jaffe, I'm playing director at Kingsway High School. Um, I guess uh, I agree with everything that everyone said. Uh, in addition to just being a positive role model in a, in a leadership role, you know, the, as a female, um, especially at Kingsway, I see um, our female athletes are, um, we, we have a very strong following of female athletes at Kingsway. And, um, you know, with, with the growth of the female sports, and uh, we started female golf, uh, girls golf and girls wrestling. And, um, it, it just to make that an, an even playing field, and, um, you know, to just to have a positive support system in, in the building, positive role model uh, for our female athletes to go to, um, and uh, of course in the conference, like, like, like Marnie said, we are we are really the backbone of the of the conference, uh, yeah. although we. Uh, May not, they may not see. <laughs> I agree. We definitely are the ones who are organized and are on point. Um, this is my 20th year as an AD, so when I started, um, there was very, very few female ADs. So um, it's certainly nice to see um, see the females grow in this profession.